What's going on, friend? In this episode, we're gonna be checking out the Vintage Amp Room Collection by Soft2. And what I lens is saying now, we break it down, baby. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for being here once again and remember as usual, like, subscribe and do all those cool little things that we like to do on YouTube so that you and I can stay in touch with each other. Anyway, anyway, so like I said, the Vintage Amp Room Collection by Softube. The other day we were checking the Marshall Amp Room and you can see it right here, or the Marshall Suite. And this will be the Vintage Suite, right? Let's start right here in the bottom right corner and let's go to where it says Vintage. That way it will only show us the amps that are included in the Vintage Collection. Okay, first let's just explore a little bit of the interface so that we're not all lost. <laughs> Up here we got a preset browser as it says it right there very cleverly. Then we have an input section and an output section. There's a gate and there's a tuner. I haven't even checked those. Then importantly, right here is where we have our amp. And then right here at the bottom, we have our selection of four amps in this case. First we have some sort of AC30 with a green plate. Then we have this custom 100 watt, which I assume is like maybe like a high watt or something like that. Then we have something that looks like an old beat up fender. <laughs> and again, like I said, some other kind of fender right here. Then right here at the very bottom, we have a pre section that goes before the amp where we have like all these kind of pedals. I haven't even checked them out because like I said, I'm at this point, I'm not really checking the plugin itself. I'm just checking the collections. Okay, let's keep going. Right here, we choose the amp. Then we have the cabinet section. And we have a very nice collection of microphones. We have a 57, SM7B, a 421, a 47, a 414, a 121, and a 160. So pretty much all the industry standards. That's pretty great. And then we have a post effect section where we, where in this case, we have a room simulator to begin with. Then a compressor and a nice little reverb pedal. Pretty great. And then on top of that, we have like a master EQ section. So that's what we're going to be checking out. Let's start right here on the left with that AC30 kind of amp. Let me get a guitar and we get going. Today we're going to be using my Fender American Professional 2 Stratocaster. Just because I love it. <laughs> no reason at all. I was debating if I should use like the PRS because of the humbucker sound. But man, if I need humbuckers, I grab another guitar. It's like five feet away from me. <laughs> so let's go. Let's put my headphones on. Ooh, let's get comfy and cozy. And here we go. Let's start with this AC30 situation. Wait, something... I don't know. It's like super processed. This compressor to begin with is annihilating me. <laughs> I can feel that compressor at the output section too. Yeah, it's on. And now just the volume is like so much lower. This room thing, I don't know. Okay, let's just take everything off and let's just keep the reverb like a normal amp. I'm debating. Yeah, let's turn this master section off too. And now let's hear the amp itself. Let's turn this down a bit. I don't like that if you want to see where you are in parameters, you have to be checking right here on the left and the numbers are like pretty small. But whatever, we're not bashing it, right? Okay, let's just hear the amps. Let's see what we have here. Are we on zero here? Oh, there we go. Just to compensate for that big loss, the volume that we have from that big compressor. That's what I remember, like an AC30 kind of sound. A little bit scratchy, but nice. <laughs> okay, let's turn the brilliancy up. I take it back. That sounds like an AC30.
it has that nice little thing that I like to say. Every time I like an amp, I notice uh, it makes the strings sound thick. I, I hear almost like the, sh the round shape of them. You know what I mean? It, I don't know. It's very, very funny what happens. And that's why I turned all the effects off because I come to know that SoftTube is way, way, way better than the presets are. <laughs> and, and I don't know, like this amp now, it sounds like an amp to me. I mean, it's just really, really nice. Let's move on with the next amp. The Custom 100. I was expecting this to be like a high gain amp. It's got like some sweet tone, but it's like some honkiness too. Let's see what happens on the high gain. Gain neck, neck pickup, because I love the neck pickup. I take back the honkiness. That that high gain switch is like a magic switch. It's got some really nice pink too. I was expecting it to sound a little bit like plexi, but I was thinking in the high gain mode, but it does sound like a plexi on the clean mode. It's got that sweetness that I keep talking about with the Marshall. But not quite a Marshall. You know what I mean? Let's turn the treble up a little bit. And by a little bit, you know what I mean all the way up. Let's just try like boosting the crazap out of it. Get a little bit of noise, never hurt no one. Ugh. But still, like to be cranked all the way up and have that little bit of noise, it's not too bad. Sorry, I'm playing a lot and not talking enough, I think. But whatever, who wants to hear me? You want to hear the amp, right? It just breaks out so nice, too. <laughs> super impressed with this amp. It just sounds incredible. And I love how when you hear an amp that clean sounds really, really good and you get like soaked by the sound, basically, that's when you know that you're in the presence of a great amp. <laughs> Even if I turn it down. Let's go back to default over here. I mean, other than the fact that it's a little bit low in volume that we can solve easily with this. It's just so sweet, the tone, wow.
mean, I know I'm punishing everything, but whatever. It sounded really good. I'm really impressed with this amp. I love it. My little spell. Okay, let's move on to the next amp after spending so much time with that one. Okay, the Pacific Dual Tremolo. about to ask like where's that tender tone let's check the vibrato That's pretty nice. That just reminded me that I didn't try the tremolo on the AC30. Uh, something about this amp doesn't really strike me as a fender. It sounds really good. Don't get me wrong. It sounds really good. Especially when you hit that bright knob and maybe I want to say a little bit of treble. <laughs> It does sound really great, but for some reason it doesn't feel to me like it's Fender. <laughs> you know, uh, there's something about the. I feel like a Fender has a little bit of like a spittiness to it that I'm not hearing from this guy. So whatever, let's move on to the next one. The Pacific Dual Tremolo. 100 watt silver. Oh, okay, got it. So the other one was a black face and this is a silver face. <laughs> This one does have that spanky, like, spittiness. And I haven't even, like, hit it with the bright, right? The it with the bright? just not connecting in my head i mean the amp is great it's really really great but something for me doesn't feel like fender i don't know let's hear the vibrato on this one i mean it just sounds so good that I'm going to give them the pass that it doesn't feel Fender to me. Let's do this experiment. I'm going to try to push it harder and see if I hear that spit. I mean, it sounds really good. Something doesn't hit me like it's a Fender. So whatever, I'm not going to keep talking about it, but we're going to go back here to this AC30. We're going to turn the tremolo on and see what happens. Wow, is, it a, is an AC30's tremolo like that fast? <laughs> and oh, okay. Yeah, I mean like... Thank you. 
So yeah, I think like really good. Okay, before I get lost in the sauce, let's go get some conclusions. Alright, the Vintage Collection by Softube for their Amprum plugin. I think I enjoy the sound of it a lot. Like, definitely, I feel like nothing bad to say about Softube. These people really know what they're doing. Except when it comes to presets. Everything that is on that is not the amp, <laughs> to me, just sounds bad. In my head, it's not like it sounds bad. It's just that maybe I'm coming to it from a different perspective because I just want to hear amps sounding great, you know? Of course, I'm going to do preset diving in the future or whatever, but, but so far, what I am going to say is that they are doing a really, 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 really good job making amps. It sounds really good. I want to say that definitely my favorite and like the biggest revelation was this custom 100 because... I, I mean, to begin with, I was thinking that it was going to be like a high gain situation, right? And and as soon as I start playing with it, I instantly was hit by this like familiarity, but warmth and stuff. And I was feeling like it was almost like a plexi on the clean setting. Uh, and, and that really captured me really quickly. Definitely. This is where the money is this high gain you know and then just adjust your volume or whatever but definitely you have to be pushing that guy i think and and it just sounded really good it was a beautiful beautiful clean i assume just because i i had like this perception that it has a lot of headroom and i have definitely to command self to for that because i felt the change in headroom from the ac30 to this like high watt 100 watt so i know they're doing something really nice in the engineering department it, it really sounds really good and in the audio industry we tend to say this a lot like we say like something sounds 3d when they make a plugin right <laughs> we say that it sounds 3d and i want to say that they did it right with this plugin moving on to this uh defender section i want to say that they sound amazing to begin with but in my head they were like lacking that one element that makes me personally feel that I'm listening to a Fender amp and it's like this sort of like spittiness in the tone like you hear like a pew, 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 every time you hit a note and these two amps didn't have it at all I almost kind of was feeling it a little bit more with the AC30 uh, but not really because they retain that little warmth that they have and even though they're like super scratchy right <laughs> but in the case of these Fenders I don't know they didn't do the trick for me they sound really good but I didn't feel like they were Fenders so if you were thinking that it sounds like a Fender I would think it doesn't but I feel like they're really, really killer amps. And especially after ch I checked all the Amplitude stuff, or most of it, because it, there's a lot of stuff there. Yeah, I feel like Softube is, is really coming in strong in the game with the realism of their amp. And I know definitely that in the audio community, people love Softube, but I want to see how it does in the guitar community. Because this amp, I think it's a great amp. And maybe I wouldn't have said that in, in the past about these amps. Let's just check really quickly how much it is. Just to say if it's like worth it, right? <laughs> okay, amp room, vintage amp, sweet. Okay, accept, give me all the cookies, whatever. Okay, okay, $79 right now. So yeah, $79, I don't think it's a bad deal at all. If that's all you want, I think like where they're falling a little bit short, I f they should have just like snuck in one high gain situation. Just to give you a little bit of balance, like you have the great cleans because so far everything is clean in here. Or like sort of like Edge of Breakup, which they do really well. I think they might be playing to their strengths. <laughs> but um, they should have put just something that was a little bit high gain. Just for the people, you know, if you buy that bundle, you want to have something that is a little bit high gain, right? But there you go. I think that there's not much more that I can say other than ask you, what's your favorite? Let me know. Do you think that this collection is good? And if you haven't checked the Marshall, go check it because I think that one was really good. Anyway, I just want to take this second to thank you all for your likes and your subscriptions and your super thanks. I've been like blown away with the amount of support that I'm getting from you guys. So I just want to thank you. But before I keep talking too much, remember, like if you like this video, definitely subscribe. Stay warm, stay safe. Go to the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Other than that, I'm out, my friend. Thank you for being here. Bye.